Y'all know what it is, man. This your man's band gang, AJ. Come walk a mile in my shoes. AJ, you feel me? One, no, I ain't even gonna say one. Uh, like everybody else, they from the Bronx, you feel me? Like me and Lonnie from Seven Mile. You wanna see me at every event, you wanna see me at every show. Like it's gonna be times you ain't even like, damn, is he dropping still? Like, like I don't know, that's just me. Like I'm laid back, man. I grew up with just my OG, you feel me? Like my pops, he wasn't really around. Like, not that I'm older, you feel me? He trying to come around, but you feel me? I'm grown now, like. She didn't show me everything, like her and my older brother. I want that shred game. <laughs> this is my OG calling me for that new shred game. Yeah, like. I have to realize, I had y'all at a young age. I'm not no damn um, old ass lady. Shit. We, we about to pull up and bring you this shred game. This is my OG, you feel me? Hey. Mama Dukes right here, Mama AJ. <laughs> She wanted her shred gang to do Oh, I got it too. She had to pull up and bless her with the good shred gang. I ain't never been the type to just be at the crib. I'm always with my niggas, you feel me? Like, like it's certain shit they didn't taught me that my, you feel me? My old dude didn't teach me like. It's one of my old, old cribs right here. You feel me? Seven Mile in Rosemont, Vassar Side Street. You know, this is where I, Started my little rap shit at, you feel me? Like, this is my brother right here. Like, he got a lot to do with my rapping, you feel me? Like, he used to rap in high school, but it's really what I started my seven mile shit at. Like, moved over here, what, what was that like? I was in the third, fourth grade. I went to Coffee Middle School, right there on Lindsay. That motherfucker abandoned right now, though, you feel me? This shit right here. This shit history right here, bro. I remember getting mace. We fought some niggas out here. This was the most wildest middle school on Seven Mile, and I know it. Can't nobody tell me different. Coffee, motherfucking middle school, K through eight. Hell yeah. Niggas used to get their ass whooped up here all day, every day. And this niggas been fucked this shit all the way up. Like, look at the gate, man. Used to be the sign right there. What was we broke? What was it? The Cougars? I never forget the gym floor. That bitch was Cougars. Like, like this is this right here, man. This shit. This was my teacher classroom right here, bro. Right here, Mr. Jenkins. I never forget his bum ass, bro. He couldn't stand my ass. Like this shit just crazy, bro. <laughs> I mean, like Detroit. Detroit is Detroit. Like you gonna have moments when you feel me you're doing good in the city like it's all, it's all love and then you're gonna have moments when it's hate then you got you feel me detroit man we one of the most violent feel me cities like niggas die every day like niggas go to jail it's just it's really like i just try to stay out the way like you feel me like i really got my mind on this music shit like i'm just trying to focus on that because we damn near like the hottest niggas in d right now like for real so I'm just really not even, I'm trying to stay out the way, like, cause it's a lot of madness going on in the D for real. My OG bought a crib on Winthrop and Seven Mile. I mean, on Winthrop and Six Mile. That's when I met my nigga Biggs, my nigga Paywheel, Dot Out Winning, RP Two Dots, you know. All my shit, I met everybody originally through my nigga Biggs. We was in the same seventh grade class at Serving. It's called, I think it's called what, John R. King now? You know, Puritan, you niggas know that school across the street from Chiefs, Puritan and Strathmore, Mark Twain. So now I met my nigga Biggs, Rose, all them niggas, man. I met everybody originally through Biggs, you feel me? We just been linked up doing this rap shit together. Me and Biggs did a song called Deal or No Deal. I ain't even get on that motherfucker. I think, cause I got suspended or some shit at school. My OG like, no, nah, you ain't going to no studio. I went to uh, Servity, I think it was, yeah, I went to Servity, met Biggs, we was in the same class. He told me he rapped, we, you know, the little deal or no deal shit I was just talking about, like, we did that shit. We used to shoot videos over here, we shot the shit with Buddha over here, uh, I think it was some shit I did, Get Dope too. My nigga thought I was out here. 
It was me, Dots, Biggs, and Pay, and my nigga Buddha. And then we went over there with them niggas and shot they scene. We been on this block for a minute. Like, we been here for a minute. Like, I can tell you everybody on this block. Like, from her, right here, her and her son, this house, like this house right here, like this lady never come outside. This second house next door to my old house, she never come outside. She lost her son. Her son got killed in my driveway. You feel me? Popped up right here. Ever since then, she don't, she don't even come out. She just, only time you see her is in the morning. When I was going to school, she she drive a school bus. She would see her leaving out. And you would see her pulling up. Like, man, this this the <laughs> block, man. I swear to God on my nigga Dots, on my little brother that's dead. I made 10000 on this block when I was like 18, bro. And I could put that on something. I could put that on dots. I made my first 10 by myself on this block. My first, like, all that shit, the Magnum, all that shit was this block. Like, I did that on this block. Why like, niggas, niggas know 18 me. ain't did that Niggas shit. 18 ain't did that. Like, Real. we doing most shit, big shit. Like, the deal, we ain't worry about that right now on some real shit. We charge five racks a show. We good. Like, features. You catch them every day. You just seen dog just walked up to me on 7 Mile. What up on the future? Ooh, shit like that, like, man, it's the block, though. It was originally five band gang rappers. It was me, my nigga Rose, Pay, Biggs, and Lonnie. My nigga Mazo, you know, we all been new Mazo and shit, but he got with us, like, with the band gang rapping shit, like, four years ago. Like, my nigga, it, he was originally my nigga Bugs and Streets, all of them. That was his man, you feel me? And he told us all the time, like, y'all need to fuck with my nigga Mazo. He nice. Da, 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 da. He used to tell that nigga the same shit, like, fuck with my little niggas. They, they serious with this rap shit. You feel me? And, uh, Mazo started, he hopped on some shit. And he, uh, he hopped on some shit. He just kept coming to big shit. We really tricked him into a whole CD. Like, he didn't even know that shit. Like, we tricked him into the whole White Buff Boy CD. Like, he, he didn't even see that shit coming. And then next thing I know, you feel me, I was, like, in the process of moving. I was moving from Six Mile and Winthrop to, uh, motherfucking Redford and shit. I, I was I was moving to Redford. So I, I was really absent the whole White Buff Boy CD, but I always had my own studio. But we, like, doing shit all together, you feel me? So, you know, they did the White Buff Boys bitch and shit. And, uh, that's really how Miles really started rapping with us. But we always been new to nigga. So it's really six band gang rappers now. It was really seven. R.I.P. my nigga Dada. He never rapped though. Man, we we didn't have three names. We started off as GFD. We started off, and then we changed to TRF 0620. And my 18th birthday, it was me, Biggs, Dada, and Will. We just kicking, and we like, shit, man. Uh, nah, 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 nah. My nigga Big, like, man, we the band gang. We just had money on us. We we just feeling that stuff. It was my birthday. We had a room with some hoes. My nigga Big's like, man, we the band gang. I'm like, fuck it, BMBG. He like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, the big money band gang. Nigga, throw your B's up. And they already from the Bronx, you feel me? So we just all oh, throw the B's up, you feel me? My uh, solo project. My solo project was like to make up for my absence on, uh, you feel me, White Buff Boys and Grind Season 2. You feel me? That's why I did 1.5. And uh, we did... After 1.5, you feel me, Maz did a solo, Biggs did a solo, and uh, we dropped uh, Young Kings in yeah, what Dots wanted. Because Young Kings was a group, you feel me, that's like, that was supposed to be like something different. Like, it's still band game, but it was supposed to be something different, like a different type of sound. And then we did uh, what Dots wanted. You feel me? Like, that was bro, you feel me? Like, we was going through some, a tragic moment, you feel me? Like, we lost one of our brothers. This a nigga we see every day. How you, how you uh, feel when you first found out? Like, I've been rapping, as you know that. Yes, for a, long for a time. very long time. When we first started, like, you feel me, getting noticed. When we was in, when, when we was in Kroger, and them little niggas took the picture and all that. They was following us through the grocery store. It's crazy. Um, I really didn't want you to do this because a lot of people don't make it. But when I saw it was a passion for you, you wanted it so bad, I was like, it is what it is. I'm behind you on whatever you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. You a G, right, mama? <laughs> she been behind me since Dang. day one. You see who we at on Strath, my black. I got my OG pull up over here. We ain't worried about nothing. Detroit music. <clears throat> I'm gonna start off with us first. Like, we came up, like, me, bro. I mean, like, us, we came up. Niggas weren't showing us love, you feel me? Like, 
we reached out, ain't nobody reached back. You feel me? Like, not that we, you feel me, hot, nah, everybody reaching back out. You know, everybody catching the wave. But you got uh, the radio, you feel me? You got DJs, they, they all really, like, they still, it's really politics if you ask me. But Detroit, like, the music-wise, like, Detroit really coming up. I mean, when I ain't making music, I'm really just at the crib about the way, you feel me? Like, I don't really be doing much, like, I ain't in that stool. I'm either chilling on the block, strife more, you feel me? Or I'm at the crib, you feel me? I ain't everywhere. You ain't gonna catch me everywhere. Like, I don't really be off into a lot of shit when I ain't doing music, for real. Just be chilling. Jumped off the porch on my own. Grab my bands up on my own. Cause me and broke, we ain't really get along. You know I got it, just hit a nigga phone now.